Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, every data science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems on topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, so subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called tree node and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is a 30 second video of the series called tree node and if I look at the companies this question has been asked in so Microsoft and Twitter a number of times let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called tree with two different columns id and pid id is the column with unique values for this table each row of this table contains information about the id of a node and the id of its parent node in a tree the given structure is always a valid tree okay each node in the tree can be on one of the three types leaf if the node is a leaf node root if the node is a root of the tree inner if the node is neither a leaf nor a root node we are asked to write a solution to report the type of each node in the tree order of the result does not matter okay let's go through this example let's look at the tree so obviously this is the root the parent of every other node and then these ones three four and five because they there is no other nodes they are connected to so they are the leaf nodes and nodes like two who has a parent but they are a parent of other nodes as well so they are inner nodes one is the root node and then two is a node who has a parent one right so two has a parent one but is also a parent of four and five so two should be inner then three four and five should be the leaf node and that is what we have in our output okay so to solve this question what we need to do is we basically need to use the case when statements to make sure that we capture all the cases when a node can be root leaf or inner so what we need to do is from this table called tree we need to have the id column because in our output we need the id column and then we need to create a column called type so return id and then use the case when statements that case when parent id is null what does this mean so you are the parent of everyone else and you do not have a parent right so for for nodes like one so is null then you are the root node right so when you are the root node when your parent id is not null right so when parent id is not null that means you have a parent but you also are a parent of someone else for example id is like two so you have a parent but you are also a parent of other nodes so that means so and id in and then you can do return distinct parent id distinct parent id from tree so what does this do, will do so this entire thing will say okay one and two are basically the different parent ids and yes two is in two so that means this is an inner node so then inner or the third condition that remains is that you are not a, a parent of someone else so that means you are the leaf nodes so you simply write else leaf since you started a case when statement you need to end this as well and then you need to alias this as whatever is required in our output so this should be type so as type and since we do not need to order this by anything else so let me go ahead and run this okay so let's see what do we get in our output so yeah here we see wrong answer that is because uh we just need to you know capitalize this thing r okay let me go ahead and run this again so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit this to pass all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how to do it not a very difficult question all we had to do was from this table right from this table what we need to do is basically if your parent is null that is you are the parent of everyone else but they you do not have a parent so that means you are the root node if you have a parent but you are also a parent then you are the inner node and if you have a parent but you are not a parent of someone else then you are the leaf node so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video.